Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Book Nice coming at you with the SH Figure Arts Avengers Infinity War movie Doctor Strange figure review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel legends. Imports. Many make the I'm fucking with. High beast we know about you. Stay buying figs. And a quick look at the artwork on the left side of the box. You can see a small picture of the figure, a couple of logos. And on the opposite side, more of the same. All right, so I got the MCU Doctor Strange out of the package. And just like the Star-Lord from the previous review, this figure is pretty much the same as the original version, which was from the Doctor Strange solo movie. It's just that there are some deco changes on this guy. Looks like the paint is a little more vibrant. Um... Looks like they gave him the uh, fingerless gloves uh, for all of the hands on this particular version, which was interesting because I don't remember him having fingerless gloves in the movie. It looks like he was uh, uh, completely ungloved throughout the entire movie. So I'm not going to go over every single hand. You get the same amount of hands that you got uh, with the original version, which was five complete sets. Uh, I will go through some of them as I change some of the other accessories. Uh, and it looks like some of his little magical incantations are, are a little uh, different as well. So let's get into that. But I'm going to jump right into a comparison between the two. So on the right is the original version. And like the Star-Lord figure, the original Doctor Strange version from his uh, solo movie was like a deluxe version that came with some Tamashi flame effects. Uh, they weren't the same flame effects that were originally released they actually gave you a set or a version that was a little lighter and it, they took to the light much better and you could get some uh, much better light piping through them and a lot of people were backtracking trying to get this Doctor Strange figure when they realized how great those flame effects look I end up using the flame effects more than I use the Doctor Strange figure for sure uh, but yeah you can see the slight deco changes looks like the red on his uh, cloak is uh, is a little more vibrant and the blue is a little lighter and I'm not sure which one I like better I also see that you can see uh, the infinity stone sort of showing on his necklace on a newer version whereas you don't see it showing on the older version I, again I'm not really sure which one I kinda like better as far as the deco is concerned uh, but I'll give you a closer look at the head sculpts and to be perfectly honest I don't know if either of them look that great um, you know, the likeness is, is slightly there, but I'm not sure which one I like better. Um, you know, they both have their their strengths and weaknesses. I like the hair better on a newer version, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I guess I like the skin tone, too. He looks a little more pasty on this one, on the original version. But again, you can see the Infinity Stone on his, uh, on his necklace there. And... Um, you know, just some slight deco changes, like I said. This is still a sort of weird texture. And they didn't do anything different with the with the cape, with the cloak. It would have been nice to see them try something different. It would have been nice to see them add some different things in with Star-Lord, too. Maybe rocket boosters on his boots, something like that. I forgot to mention that in the review. But, yeah, that's how they look side by side. And they are the interchangeable head sculpts for the two of them, which is a more sort of like angry, sort of focused look. I, I think I do like the uh, the head sculpts on the newer version a little better. I'm not really feeling uh, the skin tone and uh, the hair and beard color on the original version. Um, but yeah, it's not really much of a difference between the two head sculpts, honestly. Like I said, this one just looks a little more focus you can see just a tiny bit of his teeth and then aside from the flames these were the original sort of magical effects that you got with the first version these two kind of had like a orange sort of like tan goldish sort of hue and these were kind of green and obviously you can use these with the newer version but that was it as far as the magical effects go and these are the effects that come with the uh, newer version so you can see it's kinda two-tone on each side and these look pretty cool I guess they just all supposed to represent different different spells I'm not sure if this is I can't really remember if this was a shape or a, a pattern that we actually saw in the movie or if they just kinda winged it or what but uh, and this other one is green so you get three of those and then aside from that you also get 
this pretty cool portal effect and it actually comes with two little uh, clips that you can use to kind of stand it up right let me grab those yeah there you go there's that I, there's actually like a small film that you have to remove from the uh, portal effect after you take it out of this little bag too which I'll do in a second but I'm gonna swap on his hands and get these little magical effects on his hands and let you see that too and there's a quick look at that so you just have to pop the hands off at the wrist and then uh, put these little effects uh, around the wrist and put the other hands back on and like I mentioned there are five sets of interchangeable hands so you can do different things and have him kind of wiggling his fingers and throwing up his gang signs and doing what he does to make it look like uh, uh, he is doing his magical spells or what have you so this was cool you know what I actually had that wrong there is a, <laughs> there is a set of hands here with a little peg on the front of them and you're actually supposed to peg the uh, the effect on the front of the hand right there uh, but I have seen people do it either way. You actually could put it around the wrist, I guess, if you wanted to. But this is actually the way it was intended to work. And there's the portal behind him. I got the little thin layer of film off the front and realized that it was still a little scratched under there. I think that's kind of like a common problem with some of these uh, some of these that uh, people have received in their Doctor Strange packages. But this is a cool little effect. You mess around with some light in and do some different things. You can definitely have some fun with this. It was a nice touch. And there it is with him actually behind it. So again, you can definitely uh, do some cool things and take some nice pictures and stuff like that. I'm interested to explore uh, the lighting possibilities with this. So in terms of articulation, the same things that bothered me about the original release bother me about this release. It's still decent articulation overall, but uh, the head is on a ball joint, going to look down just about that far. Not going to look up as far as you would probably like because it's hindered a little bit by the cloak. You know, I really wish they would have explored some different things with these uh, with these newer figures from the movie. We did see his cloak kind of doing its own thing in the movie and that was cool but if we would have had a separate cloak or interchangeable cloak or detachable cloak that you could use and kind of mess around with that would have been cool but because i i do really hate this design with this hard plastic i don't i don't really like the way this works i mean it it can make for some cool pictures and what have you but i really wish they would have uh tried to give us a cloth uh, cloak with uh, some wire or something in it but this uh, rotates and hinges basically at these two smaller points and then it just hinges with the uh, larger back flap and that's how that works and he will turn at the torso and you get a little bit of an ab crunch but that's pretty much it shoulders are on a ball joint they're gonna come up pretty far you could do a full 360 you do get a slight uh, butterfly joint there as well just a little bit more than 90 degrees at the elbow, swiveling the hinge on the wrist. Uh, this is all soft plastic, so you can get his legs up pretty far, and you can get him out pretty far, and you do get an upper thigh swivel and a double jointed knee. And this is another thing that annoyed me about the original version is that you cannot point his toes. So like to really get him in that cool sort of flying kind of look with his toes pointed down that you see a lot of superheroes uh, do in the comic books or the way they draw them in the comic books or what have you it's just not going to happen but you can uh, get his foot to rotate and his leg will rotate a little bit at the knee but you can get his foot to rotate just a little bit just a very slight hinge really it's not I, I can't even give him give them that credit it's really no hinge really and it's really no pivot the feet barely move at all again that was the same issue that I had with the original one I don't know why they didn't update that that was just really stupid but uh, limited but not terrible articulation you would expect more from SH figure arts and one quick size comparison and I'm out of here. So on the far left we have a Marvel Legends Doctor Strange. I forget which one this was. I don't know if it was from the Dormammu Build a Figure Wave. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. And uh, on the Doctor Strange's immediate right we have this new Infinity War Star Lord which I reviewed uh, right before uh, Doctor Strange. And on the far right we have the Marvel Legends Gamora. I really wish SH Figure Arts would do all of the characters from Avengers Infinity War not gonna happen. They're gonna end up doing the uh, the Hulkbuster which they've showed uh, Pictures of and had them on display and they'll do Spider-Man in the iron Spidey suit I mean, we'll get quite a few characters. I believe War Machine is the same War Machine that we had from uh, Civil War if I'm not mistaken 
and uh, you know you can definitely kind of mix and match and do some some kind of perspective things and get some things going from some of the scenes from that movie I'm sure we're gonna see quite a bit of that uh, in the uh, uh, in the groups and on Instagram and stuff coming up so quick reminder you should absolutely join the articulated comic book art Facebook group and follow us on Instagram those links will be in the description below Doctor Strange is cool uh, you know this is one I would recommend I mean the movie was so so freaking good that I mean if you're gonna get a version then it then I, then I would say go ahead and get this one if you can still get the original version just for the flame effects alone I would go I would go ahead and do it I know that some of these uh, figure arts figures are popping up at um, Barnes and Nobles and some different places uh, stateside so if you can get it domestically and still get it for a decent price I would say go ahead uh, and you know again this is still one I, I would recommend but I would not recommend spending anything uh, pretty much over the suggested retail price for, for Japan really if you can get it uh, for maybe five or ten bucks over that okay but I wouldn't go nuts with, with this particular figure he's, he's okay they definitely dropped the ball on not doing something different uh, that goes with him and Star-Lord and uh, they definitely should have updated the uh, the lower feet but that's pretty much it. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace. That's crispy.